guys. Um, I just want to say, stop in and um, say hi. It's been a while since I have um, done any videos of anything I've created or um, made any posts. I've been quite busy with summer and doing things with the little one and um, just things around the house. Anyways, here um, I have created this little decorative piece um, to hang on my wall. It is a mouse trap. Um, I got the idea from a swap um, that I'm in and I just fell in love with this idea. <laughs> I just thought it was the neatest thing. I never imagined myself um, using a mouse trap and creating something um, elegant and beautiful. So um, I had some people ask me if I could do a video of um, designing the mouse trap. So I said, sure, why not? And this is my first um, tutorial, so forgive me for any boo-boos or errors. I'm gonna try my best, as always, to um, not make this super long, so that way um, you guys don't get tired of listening to me. Um, but I hope you guys also enjoy it as well. So on this, I'll show you the one I designed first. This was a kit that I got from Craft or Country Craft Creations. Um, it was one of their um, I can't Craftology boxes. Sorry, and um, the paper was Petaloo by Bo Bunny. And what I did was I took it and at first I started painting it and I'm like no. I was like let's decorate it with some paper so I used some of the paper from the line these are just chipboards that I got from Michaels it says imagine your dreams um, I used some little jewels and decorated on the sides down here some of the flowers that came with the craftology box this was just something I got from Michaels in the wedding aisle and then I took some string and wrapped it around and this is a little cut apart so you can see this is not armed. It will not snap. I didn't like, when it was armed, I didn't like how tight it was holding on to the pictures or anything you would like to hold in here. Um, I did put some lace trimmer on the side. And I also put this little um, charm at the bottom. I don't remember where I got this, oddly enough. Um, I think a friend of mine actually gave this to me, but I'm not 100% positive. So, um, I do want to make a lot more of these, one for Halloween especially. I think it would be really cute to put a picture of my kiddo dressed up in Halloween and be able to hang it. So, let's get started with this tutorial. I'm really excited and I'm super nervous <laughs> since it is my first one. Um, a lot of crazy things can happen. So first, um, I got this mouse trap at Home Depot for a dollar something. It is quite big. It's three by seven or three and a quarter by seven, I should say. And I had to watch a lot of videos on how to actually deassemble this. So you'll see a couple other ones where they take all this out. Um, I'm not that brave yet. <laughs> I, I'm scared of the springs themselves. Um, I don't want to like snap down on my fingers because it is very um, secured and tight. So what I do is I go ahead and I just move these aside so that way it's not going to get my fingers if I just have a brain fart. But this part I might go in and out of camera because it is kind of hard to get these out. Um, well, never mind. And sorry if it is too loud. Um, I probably, I just wanted to show you guys how to take it all apart as well. So you take that little notch out. That was right here. And then this little guy, this arm, you can leave this on and decorate it. If you want some, as a dangle, you can decorate it if you want. Um, I don't like it. It's too long and I don't have anything to clip it or I'm not into jewelry making yet or anything on nature so I really don't know anything um, craft wise on trimming it down and making it smaller but you can do as you please with it. I just throw it away. So 
The next step is get this little guy out. I've never used a mouse trap, so I don't know the technical terms of these. But all I did, if I remember correctly, was just I kind of bent it. And just like I said, I might go and have a frame for this one because this one particularly. Well, not this piece, but the connector underneath. See, it just slid right out. Right there. There's a little hook. I pitch it. I take this guy out um, because it's hard to really get your paper around it. This one down here is not too bad, but this guy, he's got to go. He just can't be in there. And this one is kind of hard, so I am going to pull out a frame. And it'd be really funny if I couldn't get it out this one time. There it goes. You just gotta tug at it a little bit. It is coming out. Come on, little guy. There we go. You can get smaller ones. I've seen smaller ones. Um, I was looking at Pinterest and seeing like, you know, I've never bought a but mouse trap, so I didn't really know with what one looked like. I've always seen the little sticky ones where they run across, but I've never um, actually purchased one. So anyways, so that's how I de assemble it. You can paint it, you can stain it, um, whatever you prefer to do. I, for this tutorial, I went ahead and pre-cut some pieces of my paper. And I even put a sticker on it for time's sake, because I wasn't sure exactly how long this video was going to take. And um, this is just a sticker from the collection. And what I'm going to do first is move some of this stuff out of the way. I'm going to mark it down here and make a slit. So this will just go right on top of it. Um, you can, and I'll show you further along, basically it's going to sit all like this. Right on top. I'm even going to do a border here with the wood because my lace I'm going to try and put my lace around the outside right there. Like I said, I'm fairly new at making these, so this is only my second one. So you guys might see some bloopers, which is fine. So there I just drew what I would think. I might even come up a little bit on it. There might be an easier way. I'm not sure, but that's how we're going to do it. going to take it and just make a itty bitty bitty slit okay maybe not so little but you get the idea it might make it a little bit bigger And it's okay if your paper bends and everything right here because you will see what I'm going to do so you really can't see that. If you really, and I've seen in some videos, okay, I haven't done it, I don't trust myself yet to do it, but uh, maybe on a smaller one I will, we'll see. What you can do, but these are thicker, is somehow, some way, you can take these and bend these out a little bit while holding down and this piece right here will slide on out. Like I said, not going to do it. Alright, let's continue. So, I'm not going to ink the sides, but um, where is, there it is. So this is my art glitter glue that I got from Tamara Store at Country Craft Creations. She holds um, now the fabric glue as well as the art glitter glue this is a lifesaver I have all kinds of <laughs> bottles of it and when she sells it it comes with this little littler cap but um, I use the bigger one for projects as such you I mean for this little this little container, what is it, it's two ounces, this could probably last me about five projects, depending on the size of the projects, and I don't do 
um, fairly small project so it holds out pretty well but as you can see I do um, have a lot and you don't really have to put a lot on and it dries clear and it's once it's down it's down but um, yeah I love this stuff it's really good I also do have my um, glue gun too for my flowers since I don't have the fabric glue but here we go you have a little bit of time to move this around so don't think you once you get it down it's set you can move it around and do as you please that's why I really like this but once it is down it is down I'm trying to rip it off of projects um, it's kind of hard burnish this all down. I'm not too worried about up here as much as I am down here. Alright, so there's that piece. Now for this piece, so you have to be careful because these are pretty sharp on the ends and it will cut your paper. So I just easily move these to the side. I'm gonna try to line this up. See if I need to trim it, which it seems like I do a little bit on top. Um, yep, that's what I'm gonna do, is trim it a little bit. I'm not going to wrap this like I did the other one. It takes way too long. Alright. Slide this right under. These are just little putty knives. Um, I got the idea from Tana. It does help with larger projects. I do have bigger ones. I got these from Home Depot as well. Or you can get them from Harbor Freights or any really small pro store per se. Um, all right. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put these up very easily. Now I am going to, um, let's see, I'm going to put my flowers on. And I got this with the Craftology box. With the Craftology box you get paper, you get um, stickers that come with the collection, you get all kinds of goodies. And they're really inexpensive. That's why I like it so much. And they do uh, free tutorials as well. So that way, if you are stuck and not sure exactly what you want to do, they'll give you ideas, which is really nice. Really like these flowers too. They're a lot different. I'm still getting used to creating my own embellishments and flowers for some reason. I just enjoy watching how people make these. These are just, they're adorable. I did go in and um, put these little pearly sticker um, toppers on the flowers. I'm just kind of making sure they stay. All right. Now for this part. <laughs> it's 
sometimes me and Elias get along, sometimes we don't. Um, I've only been doing this particular type of crafting since October of last year, which is when Country Craft, or when I joined Scrapbookers of Country Craft Creation. I'm just making, I'm going through making sure this is the way I want it before I glue it down. I do know it should go all the way around. And if it doesn't, then we can make some modifications, but it should. Probably should have done this before I got on camera, huh? <laughs> eh, we roll with it. All right. So, you're probably going to see some newbie errors. Please forgive me. This is my way of, my way of learning. No expert by any means. And that comes along with burning myself, which... I'm not going to do that, hopefully. I really can't wait. I want to do a Halloween one. And then I'd like to do a recipe one. So that way, if you hang this in your kitchen, you can actually, you could probably make this a little tighter for a recipe album, or a recipe holder. But I just, you'll see. It really bends the paper when you have it fully loaded. All right. Sorry guys, I probably should have done this off camera. Yeah. You can just listen to me ramble. <laughs> just kidding. Almost done. What else could you do this? Halloween, I could put a fake dead mouse in here as a decoration, you think? There's a lady at my work, and I showed her this. She was like, do you have mice in your house? I said, no, no, it's just, I got this idea, and I just really thought it was cute and she was like well that's a new way she's like leave it to anybody to create something like that and it would be you because I do I do like abstract stuff um, I actually did go to school for graphic design and um, as far as art goes like finer art I really do enjoy abstract and I don't know. But alright. There we go. Almost done guys, almost done. Oh also I guess I didn't tell you the size of the paper when I cut it. So when I cut it, um it was three and a quarter by seven, so I didn't um I think I did it like three by seven and then I had to trim it down um, a quarter on each side just to give it that that border I think I'm gonna trim this off a little bit at an angle sake well I'll fix it so I want to put these down I want to double check these because they don't always stick as I just showed you 
I might have to use my E. But this is also because, there we go. We're good. Back in business. You just, you really can't keep open, close, open, close. That's why I left these off too, because I'm just not a fan. We'll get over that though. So now I want to put these in there. Do slide them in there. Just kind of look. Oh, we're right in the glue spot, so that's a good thing. Put some glue on it. Actually, we're gonna do this. Probably should never do that because in case it drips down, but. I got a few seconds for both to dry. I'm just gonna put that right in there and push her down. Just spread them out a little bit. Come on. There we go. There we go. And now these guys. says create your happiness which follows just like this I might bring it down a little bit these were already um, painted too these were in the dollar box. Sorry, I was sitting there thinking because I was wanting to put some jewels too, but we'll see. I wonder if I can come up like this. Create your... Oh, oh, this is my finger just going crazy. Create your happiness. Nope, we're going to leave it flat. And I did have some. There they are. And I did have some sunglasses that I was going to put in here too. I don't know if that'd be too much. I even had a bite, and that's way too much now. Now we're going way too crazy on decorating. Yep. Mm -mm. Get back to this. <laughs> I was thinking, I was like, well, maybe I can put it in there. I think that's too much. I kind of put it like that. That's not too bad. Mm, I think I'm going to keep it. Yeah, I like it. I'm going to keep it. For this, you can use your art glitter glue, or you can use your glue gun. I'm going to use my glue gun because when I was pulling these off, there was a boo-boo, and the boo-boo broke my E, so it's barely hanging on now on the Create. It literally cracked when I pulled it off, if you can tell right there. And for time's sake, it dries quicker. All the little stringies, gotta love them. All right, now. now I'm just putting little dots. I'm not doing the whole word, which is giving me my strings, but they don't bother me as much. I'm just going to push it down a little bit. There we go. And I'm just going to kind of just lay that right there. And these do have dots that came with them. Depending on if I accidentally broke them off or not. So I'm just going to put this kind of like in between. 
really don't want to cover up your. Alright, so I'm going to put another dot right here. Try to do a little more <laughs> All the strings are getting me. They're everywhere. All right. So, um, so I made this little mat. So I really like the paper, and I'm like, oh, that would be cute as a little photo mat. And then I turned it over. It's like, oh, it's even prettier. So I was thinking about, but I wasn't sure, putting this on there or the bike. And I really think I might do the bike. So what we'll do, move this over, we're just going to glue down the bottom portion of this so that way a photo can go under it or note. Alright, it's not going to smash. So like if I had it clamped, it's not going to smash. So it would be like that. I don't know if that's too bulky or not though. Is that too much? Oh, I probably should have trimmed it down a little bit. But we'll leave it like that because I think it looks cute. Now um, you can paint these. Um, I might even do it like that. Alright. So you can put, this is 3x3, three three, so you can put a little 3x3 three three photo on there, I believe. Let me double check before I tell you wrong. Yep, three by three. So now what we're gonna do, the last little step, is so you can put a hanger on the back of this. Actually, we've got another step too, I just saw. I need to do this, um, which is this little guy. Uh, let me find my pink ribbon. Which is what I used for the last one. Okay. So I kind of just guesstimate. <laughs> I love my terminology sometimes. And... I need my fabric scissors. There we go. I'm just going to try to trim this off like the other one. Nothing special here. I'm just going to take it and glue it down. Where? Oh, right in front of me. I'm like, where's my glue gun? Hello. Right in front of your face. Big old glob. Another string. Be careful touching this down. Another string. Ouchies. I'm just gonna put this one right on top. You can put a piece of paper on the back if you don't want people to see it. Um, I just leave it like this. So that way in case they want to choose a different way of hanging it and not with this, because it might, which I don't think it will as long as you're not manhandling it, fall off. So there's the little ribbon and I'm not going to hold it up just yet. My other one does just fine. Pretty sure my kid can fling this around and be just fine. So now we're going to attach this little guy. I'm just gonna open this up a little bit. You guys just saw me trying to attach this this one for the first time because I've never done anything with jewelry and I was just like a total blonde like how do I get this open even though granted I am a technician I do repair electronics and I'm sitting here like where's my how do I work my needle nose it's 
see, we're about to have the same issue. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. There we go. Ta-da. I still don't know if I like the length of this. I might change it. I don't know. It's a love-hate relationship right now. But there you guys have it. That is how I made my little mousetrap decorative piece. And I, I think I'm going to trim this. I'm looking at it now like, eh, I don't know. But you can do these in swaps. You can hang around your house. It's just like doing tags, but it is a little bit more bulky. And I just really enjoy it. And you can also, I mean, you can flip it the other way. So if you want, like, granted, you can decorate it up here. And you can have, like, for Valentine's Day, you can have a special love note or a recipe or... You can do a recipe swap at your work, or um, you can do it for personal, if you forget things, like I'm very forgetful, I can put a little tag, a little reminder, like, hey, um, however you want to do it. Oh, I know I just want to show you, I'm going to end up ripping this off if I don't remember to pull this up a little bit. So let me show you guys something real quick, too. What I meant about that bending. I'm going to scrap this paper. This is how tight it is. I can barely do it with one hand without snapping myself. It's pretty tight. It bends. So if you want to put notes, it kind of bends it. But if you want to hold stuff, obviously, put it at the top. But. That's my little one one four one one about that. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys like them. I hope you guys make some. And thanks for watching. Have a nice day.